Yo ho, it's uh, Marco Catanio, your subject coordinator for ITI 597, and a subject that covers service management according to ITIL version 3. Hey, I'm here representing Charles Sturridge University, and today we're going to have a look at assets, uh, resources, and capabilities. So, what are assets? It says here an asset, any resource or capability. Okay. Uh, assets of a service provider include anything that could contribute to the delivery of a service. Hmm, interesting. Assets can be one of the following types. A whole list. Management assets, organizational assets, process assets, knowledge assets, uh, people as assets, information, applications, infrastructure and financial capital. Uh, they are all assets being used by the organization uh, to deliver IT services to the customers. Uh, according to dictionary.com, I quite like dictionary.com, it says it's a useful and desirable thing or quality, an asset, something you want, it's something you desire. Uh, a single item of ownership having exchange value, so you can exchange like assets for value. So here's a more graphical view on resources and capabilities. So let's have a look at resources first. So what type of resources do we have? Well, we've got financial capital, and we've got money, we need budget uh, to invest in our services. We've got infrastructure, like mainframes and servers and desktops and network components. We've got applications, like the business applications and the office applications. We've got information, and we're dealing with enormous amounts of data nowadays we need to manage. And people actually doing the work, uh, people being the resources. Now let's have a look at capabilities. So, what about ma our management capabilities? Uh, do we have the right people with the right skills and the right motivation uh, to manage our IT services? What about our organization? Do we have the right culture and structure in place that properly supports and enables like ITIL's best practices? What about processes? Do we have incident and problem and change management in place? Do we have the proper processes in place that allow us again to deliver our services? What about knowledge? Are we able to like capture knowledge, retain knowledge, and reuse knowledge? So we become like a knowledgeable organization. And again, we've got people, but now we've got capable people. People with the right skills, and the right knowledge, and the right attitude to do the job. So you find people both in resources and capabilities. Okay? So uh, people with the right uh, abilities eh, now become like capable to do the work. So in the end, they're all assets. Uh, resources are assets, and capabilities are also assets. And you need them both. Uh, you need them both if you want to deliver your services to your customers. So a resource is a generic term that includes IT infrastructure, people, money, or anything else that might help to deliver an IT service. Uh, resources, it's typically something you own. Capabilities, uh, it's more about ability. It's actually the word capability. The ability of an organization person, process, application, configuration item or IT service to carry out an activity. So it's more about something you are able to do. Eh? The word ability is actually in the word capability. So let's walk through our from assets to services model again. So as an IT service provider eh, we need assets. What type of assets do we need? Well, we need resources, as uh, stuff we own, and we need capabilities, as uh, stuff we can do. Why? Because in the end we want to deliver services to our customers. And as part of services, we need to look at what? Well, we need to look at like utility, and are the services fit for purpose? And we need to look at warranty, are the services like fit for use? Practice what you preach. Uh, objective, uh, getting to understand your various assets. So, assuming that your organization provides electronic mail uh, to its staff, what resources and capabilities are used to deliver the email service? I'll give you some examples of resources, uh, for example an email server and client software, and of course like budget for maintenance and the next like uh, big upgrade. Capabilities? You probably need like an experienced email administrator. And you also need like processes in place to add, modify, and delete, for example, email users. Think about some more examples of resources and capabilities that you can add to this list. 
Okay, well knowing my little videos by now, uh, you always get like a sample question with the theory. So here's the question. Which one of the following is considered both an asset and a capability? I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about the answer and then we'll move on. Okay, of course the correct answer is people. Uh, people are both assets and capabilities. Especially capable people have become capabilities. So what's the next topic? Well, in the next topic we're going to look at a vitally important uh, service management component known as the service portfolio. Hey, until next, I would say live long and prosper and remember, I'll be back.